up everybody it's your boy Titanic Fee Jake and I'm back at you again with another video I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel before we get started on the sneaker we're about to look at today I need a couple things from you guys I need you to hit that like button on today's video also leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at and since you're down there take a look in that description box there's some links and about to my social media and my website, you can get you some fresh gear and save some money on some shoe cleaner and cases and etc. And good stuff. Also, sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. Now, the sneaker we want to look at today, it's a collab between the pop artists and the Jordan brand just gonna bring out the box y'all see it that Medellin or Medellin Sunset y'all see the logo let's remove this sleeve y'all already know these are the J Belvin Jordan 3's this is the back of the plastic sleeve this is what the top of the box looks like minus the sleeve Look at the bottom of the box going around. You do have that elephant print. You got that hole right side that box label. Show you guys that box label. We have Air Jordan 3 Retro SP. SP stands for Special Projects. And the color is multicolor, multicolor, multi. And this is a side fitting, side fitting B noise. It's for the toe. And uh, the retail price on these, I believe, was two fifty. But you know, sneakers don't show your boy no love, so I had to go pay that fine this fee. Look at the paper; it has some writing all on that paper. You can pause the video and read that if you like. Let me see what the paper says. I'm just not taking these out the box. Oh, it says a whole lot of stuff. Your boy is not about to read that. It's going to be too long of a video if I read all that. And there's a second set of tissue in here. It's very smooth on this side. And rough on the other. It's white. And look down the bottom of the box. I have a couple of YSCM stickers in here. And... That appears to be everything that comes inside this box. Let me know your thoughts, guys, on the Air Jordan Retro 3 J Belvins. Uh, this is not my first pair of J Belvins. I did get the uh, J Belvins 2 for retail, but if everyone remember, those went under retail because the retail was like 300 bucks. But, and the Jordan uh, ones, J Belvins. I passed on those. Those was doing a little too much for me. But we're gonna take a look at the threes. Here's the box. Let's get into the shoe. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro Three J Belvin, the Model and Sunset. Uh, the fit on these for me and my Jordan threes. I like to go upper size because they do feel a little snug, in my opinion. So instead of getting my regular size 14, I got a size 15 in these. So if you like your sneakers to fit comfortably, I recommend going up a half size if that's available for you guys. But there's no size 14 and a half, so your boy had to go to a size 15. So that's how the fit is on these. So. That's a quick look at the uh, on foot look, I should say, of the Air Jordan Retro, Retro 3, excuse me, J Belvin Modeling Sunset. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 3, J Belvin, the Modeling or the Meddling Sunset. Uh, this collab, I believe, is the third uh, collab with J Belvin. Yep, he had the one, the two, now he had the threes in this colorway. Uh, this is the first of two on the Jordan 3 silhouette. He does have a majority black pair. 
that is rumored or set to release in 2024 and they're very similar to this where you see the cell colorway pretty much it will be black and it does have these colors right here which represents the sunset in J Belvis country of Colombia uh, and that's where we got the name of the sneakers the Medellin or Medellin sunset it represents the sunset in J Belvis country of Colombia now let's get into this sneaker that we have before us you have a nice grain of leather on here in that cell colorway and you do have like the same color of my shirt in the uh, cracks right there on the leather you do have some a short grain of suede going around the ankle collar and right here by the uh, lace eyelets you do have like a light tan uh, elephant print right here on the heel and at the toe, it's a little different for the uh, the elephant print on the threes. You do have your uh, molded eyelet right here in like a uh, honey mustard or gold colorway. And you do have it right here at the beginning of the uh, lacing system. Looking at the midsole of the sneaker, you have sail on that midsole. And you do have the colors of the sunset the purple the orange and the gold well i guess i said that backwards because uh well no that's right yeah if the sun setting that's how it's gonna look in the sky we do have a, a air system in here clear bubble white inside and you do have a semi translucent hit at the very bottom which leads to the house so it's actually all translucent you Jordan uh, 3 outsole, very translucent, has Nike right there, everything. And look at the uh, back of the uh, sneaker, you do have J Belvis logo right there, translucent, on top of that Medellin or Medellin sunset right there. And you do have that cardboard between there, I guess that's to uh, keep the uh, suede right here from getting damaged by the sneaker doing transit or why it was sitting in the warehouse before Nike shipped it out to the very select retailers that had this sneaker. You do have the gold molded eyelet right there again on the medium side. More of that nice grain of leather on the upper of the sneaker. You got your uh, lace eyelets right there in the sale colorway and this is like a dark tan or a tan suede right there. Uh, midsole is the same, just like the other side with the sail. And you have the Medellin Sunset that goes all the way around. You got your clear bubble white inside and the translucent at the very bottom. And give you guys a good look or a better look at the toe box. There you go, guys. I like how the, uh, the cut of the leather has the color of the back of the tongue and the molded eyelet right there. That's a pretty nice color. Let's see what we have inside here. It does come with tissue, guys. Looks like they're doing away with the uh, cardboard shoe trees. They got tissue. Look at the sneaker, nice grain of leather. You have that widow peak right here. Nice soft leather tongue. Comes with these laces right here. No additional laces. That's correct. No additional laces with these. It's like a nice sail t-shirt material uh, type lace. You have leather at the top of the tongue with a uh, embroidered Jordan Jumpman in that gold colorway. And the tongue is high cut. You cannot see the back of the tongue or the material, you know, from in front of the sneaker. And here you go. This is the tag on the back of the tongue I'm gonna read it to you guys this is a US side 15 and the production date is 315 that's March the 15th to May the 17th so you had about two months of production with these not sure what the stock numbers on these were but uh these weren't at every retailer and looking at the sock liner it's like a uh, I won't say gritty but 
It's a tan sock liner, more like beige. And it's cloth material. And the insert does come out. And wow, look at this insert. Just like the sunset in Columbia. And does it say, yep, the Jaw Jumpman logo right there. And it does say air. And you got your size of sticker that side fitting B Nords. And you do get a hang tag. It will be affixed to the left sneaker. There you go. J Belvis logo right there. So that's pretty much the review in the J Belvin John 3, guys. Tell me what you think of this sneaker. Uh, me, it's one that I like. Definitely going to try to get the black ones. Hopefully, we can get these for retail. Hint, hint, sneakers app. But that's it. I'm going to end the video like I always tell you guys. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.